that the Holy Ghost is good and perfect all the time. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstrott. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Tonight I'm going to speak to you on how to have good things happen to you all the time say all the time, all the time. say good things, good things happen, to me happen to me all the time, all the time. well there you go that's how you do it Amen. see you next week <laughs> how would you like to have good things happen to you all the time say all the time, all the time. when's that every once in a while or happening to you all the time just more and more and more you're walking into it first you must know say I must know, I must know. where these good things come from wouldn't that make sense yeah. the source you can say so to speak James chapter 1 verse 17 every good gift how many is that yeah, that's like well everyone every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the father of lights with whom is no variableness neither shadow of turning he doesn't vary from it and he doesn't turn from it always good Say always good. always good, always perfect, always perfect. All, the time. all the time. So, if I'm going to have good things happen to me all the time, this would be the source. Are you here? Yeah. Get it straight. And here he says, every good and every perfect gift. And of course, I will be talking about the Holy Ghost who came down from the Father of Lights with no variableness or shadow of turning you understand that right Acts chapter 2 and then let's look at verse 33 therefore being by the right hand of God exalted and having received of the Father the promise of the Holy Ghost hath shed forth this which you now see and hear and he was talking about the day of Pentecost so where is Jesus according to this verse of Scripture he ascended and he's sitting at the right hand of God having received of the Father the promise of the Holy Ghost hath shed forth this so the Father and Jesus sent the Holy Ghost is this too difficult to understand so did the Father send the Holy Ghost yes. mm -hmm. every good and perfect gift comes down from the Father of Lights mm -hmm. are you here yep. now the Holy Ghost is with us in the earth and he is that good and perfect gift mm -hmm. John chapter 14 verse 16 Jesus said I will pray the Father and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever even the spirit of truth mm -hmm. did the father do this yes. yeah. did Jesus do that and pray the father mm -hmm. and they sent another comforter who is the Holy Ghost the spirit of truth look down at verse 26 but the comforter which is the Holy Ghost whom the Father will send in my name he shall teach you all things so here we again have reference to the Father sending a good and perfect gift to you say good and perfect, good and perfect. we're talking about how to have good things 
happen to you all the time you need to know from whence those good things come so where do they come from well they originated from the father but he sent them down in the form of the Holy Ghost who is with us are you here so where's the good and perfect gift now he's with us he's the Holy Ghost so where are all these good and perfect things that are going to happen to you where do they come from the Holy Ghost did I go slow enough on that did we somehow miss it in transition so first we must know where they come from and they come from the Holy Ghost James chapter 1 verse 17 every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of lights with whom is no variableness neither shadow of turning does that apply to the Holy Ghost yeah. is he here yes. then he is good and he is perfect and he's here mm -hmm. are you here yes. why is he here take up space so that all good and perfect things all good things can happen to you all the time does he leave you sometimes now he's with you Jesus even said that that he may abide with 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 you forever right good and perfect all the time say the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost is, good is good and perfect, and perfect. All, the all the time which means what should be happening to you good things mm -hmm. happening to you all the time so first we have to know where these good things that happen to us come from and second we need to understand how he the Holy Ghost works how he operates how he does things wouldn't that make sense because yeah. if we can get in agreement with him we will just have the good and perfect things happening to us all the time yeah. and the Holy Ghost he is God in the earth today mm -hmm. and you walk with him by saying words have you heard this before so how does he work how does he do things Acts chapter 2 and verse 1 and when the day of Pentecost was fully come they were all with one accord in one place and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind notice it came from heaven mm -hmm. what was this Holy Ghost coming down mm -hmm. good and perfect as of a rushing mighty wind and it filled all the house where they were sitting verse 3 and there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire and it sat upon each of them say upon each of them and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak yeah. say and, and. Began, began to speak so the first thing we see of these people who received the Holy Ghost was they began to speak it was the beginning listen it was the beginning of speaking in agreement with the Holy Ghost this is how he do now it goes on to say and they began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance so they began to speak words say words, words. that he was giving them yes. so it was the beginning of them speaking words that the Holy Ghost gave them now this can apply obviously to tongues that's not necessarily the point of this message but you can speak in other tongues and be speaking in agreement with God the Holy Ghost yeah. his words yes. but we also have other words that we know the Holy Ghost gave us mm -hmm. that we can speak and when we're speaking his words we're speaking in agreement with him yeah. and this is how he does things so there we see the first instance of the Holy Ghost showing up they began to speak it's the beginning of speaking in agreement with 
the Holy Ghost who is good and perfect mm -hmm. you understand that yep. speaking in tongues is one way but also speaking his word his known and written word is another way yeah. and you can understand that right in the beginning they didn't know everything did they so the really the only way they could speak in agreement with the Holy Ghost the most effectual way that they could do that was by speaking in other tongues they didn't have all the books that we have in the New Testament That's right. first Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 12 now we have received not the spirit of the world but the spirit which is of God so what spirit did they receive the Holy Ghost that God sent right so they'd received him now we have received not the spirit of the world but the spirit which is of God that we might know the things why did you receive the Holy Ghost that you might know the things what things the good and perfect things mm -hmm. verse 13 which things also we speak say also. also which means he spoke them now we have to speak them again pointing directly to the way that we walk in the good things that happen to us all the time that come from walking with the Holy Ghost by speaking in agreement with his word mm -hmm. which good things also mm -hmm. we speak not in words which man's wisdom teaches but which the Holy Ghost teaches comparing spiritual things with spiritual words so here again he's talking about speaking in other tongues it's words that you don't quite understand the fullness of but it also applies to speaking God's word because frankly you don't understand the fullness of them it applies to both speaking in tongues and speaking his word speaking in tongues is speaking his word but speaking his word is also speaking his word it applies to both say it applies to both, applies to both. Romans chapter 8 verse 26 likewise the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities or weaknesses for and here he's going to tell you what your weaknesses are it's not necessarily sickness and disease are you here mm -hmm. could be that but that's not what he's talking about likewise the Spirit also helps our weaknesses or or lacks or infirmities for we know not what to pray for as we ought mm -hmm. or the way I like to say it is we know not what to say for as we ought remember Jesus said when you pray say so we're talking about the same thing when you pray say we know not what to say for as we ought and the Spirit's gonna help us in this infirmity but the Spirit himself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered and I think they had a hard time translating that it means groanings which cannot be uttered in your regular language mm -hmm. so he's helping you because you don't know what you should say for as you ought so he's talking about speaking in other tongues yeah. are you here yeah. we know not what to say for as we ought say as we ought, as we ought. which implies that you ought at some point you should grow up and know how to ought do you know how to ought I didn't know how to say for as I ought several years ago but as I've grown and developed I've learned how to say for as I ought and the Spirit helped me to get here does that mean I don't speak in tongues anymore of course not I still speak in tongues but I've learned how to say for finances as I ought I've learned how to say for 
healing as I ought I've learned how to say for youth renewal as I ought likewise the Spirit also helps our infirmities for we know not what to say for as we ought and he that searches the hearts knows what is the mind of the Spirit because he makes intercession for the Saints according to the will of God mm -hmm. say according to the will of God do you know what you're holding in your hand the will of God yeah. so the more of this you know the more of this you can say as you ought does this make sense after all of that saying as we ought speaking as we ought in other tongues and according to the word verse 28 and we know that all things work together for good for them that love God to them that are called according to his purpose when is it that we know all things or can know all things working together for good for us when we're speaking in accordance to his word and in agreement with the Holy Ghost who's helping us we can know that and we know all things work together for good it's when we've learned to speak as we ought it's the number one deficiency in the body of Christ people not knowing how to speak as they ought mm -hmm. can you see that mm -hmm. ought they too yeah. according to this verse of scripture you done ought to mm -hmm. and how many of them won't even speak in other tongues that passed away it did not don't be goofy how about speaking the word did that pass away too speaking in agreement with God's Word well this increases this as we ought increases the more you know the Holy Ghost and know how to walk with him as God in the earth today and we know all things working together for good for us when we've learned how to speak in agreement with the Holy Ghost can you see that if there's any definite thing that I want you to see right here is that it's when you learn to speak in agreement with the Holy Ghost is when you have all things working together for good for you mm -hmm. at the beginning you didn't know everything did you have you learned some things along the way yeah. I have mm -hmm. I've learned oh don't say that say this mm -hmm. and we get more accurate in our speech that's in agreement with the Holy Ghost and what do we begin to see happening all good things good more good and perfect things happening and this applies to both speaking in other tongues and speaking in agreement with his word your tongues can develop as well as your accuracy in speaking his word I hope I'm getting this across and how far does this go Romans chapter 8 verse 21 because the creature or creation itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God how far does this go all the way all creation coming into the glorious liberty of the children of God good and perfect happening all the time is this good news yeah. it'd be pretty rough to criticize that as not preaching the good news build your house with all the good things that God has provided for you build your house here says the Spirit Lord listen build your house here so we're talking about good things happening to you all the time right yep. and how to have good things happen to you mm -hmm. all the time we needed to know first of all where they came from mm -hmm. they came originally from the Father but they're with us now with the Holy Ghost so they come from the Holy Ghost and walking with the Holy Ghost 
and then we had to see how we walk with the Holy Ghost is by speaking in agreement with him either in tongues or by speaking his word are you here yes. Psalms 103 verse 5 who satisfies thy mouth with good things so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles he satisfies your mouth meaning he puts it in your mouth with good things so that he say puts it in my mouth so that your youth is renewed are you getting this he puts prosperity in your mouth so that prosperity happens to you all the time say that prosperity, prosperity happens, to me happens to me all the time, all the time. say youth renewal, youth renewal. Happens, to happens to me all the time, all the time. why would that be because you're walking with the Holy Ghost who satisfies thy mouth with good things so that thy youth is renewed Romans 8 28 says that you would know that all things work together for good for you I know that all things work together for good for me that's an actual scripture you know that what if you put that in your mouth he'll satisfy your mouth is that a good thing yes if you put that in your mouth so that will be the good thing that comes to you say I know, I know. All, things all things work together, work together. For, good for, me. for good for me good things happen to me all the time say good things, good things happen, to me happen to me all the time, all the time. Holy Ghost we thank you that you've revealed these things to people and they now are beginning to experience the goodness of God in the land of the living by having their mouth satisfied with the good things of your word so that those good things begin to manifest for them all the time say good things, good things happen, to happen to me all the time, all the time. In, Jesus name. in Jesus name amen, amen. if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. I worship Church you God good things happen to me all the time my finances are increasing unto the degree of overflowing all the time in Jesus name Amen